Okay guys, it has been forever uh, since I've uploaded a video, but out of the many, many things going on, one of the things has been this thing right here. This is my mom uh, and my stepdad's Duffy electric boat. Let's go check it out. So my mom bought this boat a while back. Uh, she just moved to a new house that has lakefront property and she got this sweet little electric boat okay. called a Duffy, made here in the US. And it's all electric and it needs some work. How far away is the boat ramp? Here I am with helping them uh, from the previous owner, getting it across the lake and onto a custom trailer, which was a pretty funky exercise. Start. Okay, I'm gonna adjust for the heck of it, see if I can figure out how to get the key in it. <laughs> We're halfway there. Yeah. It's remarkably silent. <laughs> yeah. Now we get the way. Yeah. Great George will have our board of directors meeting out here. Well, it's not quite a speed demon. Yeah, how, how, how much throttle are you at? Okay, that's not too bad then. Didn't you run out of gas in Tahoe once? Was that with Roy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm throwing that one on Roy. That was, I think, the first time he took us out in the boat. Yeah. There we go, that's full throttle. Yeah, that's a good clip. Feels like we're actually going. About six miles an hour. Yeah. Six miles an hour, I wonder if that's more than hull speed. Hmm. So what you can't tell so far in this clip is that this trailer is not built to carry this Duffy electric boat. Now this Duffy electric boat has a deeper draft and is a lot heavier than a typical 18 foot boat of its type. Oh. <laughs> and you can see it, oh boy, tipping over a little bit there. It's leaning a good bit. Pretty terrifying. All right, this thing is leaning over to the right. So, uh, quite strange. Yeah. Yeah, a few more. No, no, not not yet, not yet. Maybe one more, one more click, and then we're probably level. There it is, there it is. <laughs> so, all right, so here, here it goes. And we are on there, but otherwise it is level since the trailer is sitting on blocks on that side so let's see what happens on the other side think it's gonna make it mom <laughs> just the trailer situation is not a duffy trailer yeah for sure well at least we got it we got two bunks Hey everybody, I'm Amber. And I'm Peter. Welcome to Sailing Asara. My life's dream has been to sail the oceans and explore new places. We both quit our jobs to try a different lifestyle. And after a long break and some travel, we're back preparing the boat and doing some shakedown sails to get ready for sailing south. All right, I'm going to the launch ramp after <laughs> a lot of hassle. So the trailer actually did end up working. The motor did seem pretty anemic. So then fast forward another few months when I came back to visit. So it is a mess right now because my stepdad has been trying to replace the batteries. Okay, so the first thing I noticed was that when you look at the uh, 
connections here. Originally it was a charger and DC to DC converter, so it converts the 48 volts to 12 and it charges the battery. Now he's gonna have a separate battery charger, which is right there making that sound. Plus this little DC to DC converter. But what we noticed was that, look at that right there. And I don't know if you can really see how mangled those wires are. And then here underneath the instrument console, ow, we also have another set of mangled wires. Look at that. You want to plug something into that? <laughs> so I am going to try to strip the wires back and we're going to use Wago lever nut connectors. Are you ready? Yes. We're going to start stripping right here. <laughs> I always bring my handy dandy tool bag everywhere I go. I do own a Ford truck, so yeah. So hard to film and do stuff. Okay. Oh my God, look at that. Okay, we are back from Home Depot and we have bought a few things. We got these, which basically these are like wire nuts, um, but they use levers instead of just screwing the wires on. You can open up a lever like that and then close it to connect two wires together. Okay, I can't really uh, video myself much doing this, but I just stripped this back and it does look like the wires are probably serviceable as they went inside here. So hopefully let's cut them and take a look. Ready to commit in three, two, one. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I wish that could be more dramatic. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it is a few days later and we are lowering the boat. We have a charger and a DC-DC uh, controller installed. We have the AC wired up here, and we have the 48 volt batteries which have been installed, and we are ready to test it for the first time, and hopefully nothing burns and sinks. We are floating. Okay, we are given, are you giving it power? Don't worry, we brought emergency paddles. Bum bum ba da bum ba da bum bum bum. So nice and quiet, just like sailing. So let's see. 15 or 11 amps, surprisingly low, but I guess, yeah, it's 48 volts, so. So how do you feel, Dave? How long has it been for this project? No, how long have you had the batteries out on this project? Uh, about a month. A month? Yeah, but it was... The hottest month of the year. Right. <laughs> what is it that All right, so we had a nice little time uh, today, finally testing the boat out. And uh, everything is working well, but I do notice that the DC to DC converter is running a little bit hot. Um, but other than that, everything is working just peachy, even the DC heaters <laughs> on this boat. Right here, yeah, the camera. The camera doesn't really show them too well, but these are indeed DC heaters. We got the good old 
lead lie time shunt. Let's try a heater on low, see what happens here. Yeah, those heaters take a lot of power. It's a cool little boat, and uh, I had electric power on my boat before Isara, and I can tell you, it's the coolest thing. Uh, you just you just turn the throttle, and it just goes, and it's silent. I mean, it's relatively silent, and it's just super low maintenance, no smell, no smoke. Electric power is super awesome. Uh, for long distances, obviously, you know, not really workable, uh, but other than that, definitely for around the bay sailing, around the lake, you know, cruising and stuff like that, it's, I think it's by far the best, you know, as long as you're not a displacement boat. Hopefully someday soon. No, we got a flag that, what does yeah. it say? Yeah, yeah. whatever name you guys. Minnow McDuff. Yeah. yeah. Alright, we've got a nice little sunset cruise. <laughs> hey guys, so I hope a few of you at least found that a little bit interesting. Uh, I've had a whole lot of things going on, and yes, the channel is significantly behind now the actual real life events which is one of the reasons it's taken me so long to get to these videos. To give you a hint, some of the last two videos were done on the boat at Anchorage in a place that you will see in upcoming episodes. So uh, I can't promise next week, but soon I will be uploading the next video that will continue with our renaming ceremony and party, and then I'll get back to making videos. I'm gonna try to get them done you know, at least once a month and hopefully more than that. So for all of those of you sticking around, appreciate it. I'm gonna keep posting more videos. And until then, fair winds, my friends.